Okay, this is what the, the modified IRS carrier looks like when we're done. And if, if you've ever seen an IRS carrier, you noticed this is the rear mount and it's a little bit different. In fact, it's a lot different. Uh, the factory mount has this great big ugly clunky thing. Uh, it's heavy, it takes up a lot of space. Uh, so what we do is we actually cut the top of the, cut that off and we put a bracket on there that bolts directly to the frame rails. So the rear carrier is just absolutely locked into place. And because of that, you don't need to put urethane or, or solid bushings in the front. Uh, it doesn't matter because we lock the back in, you know, rock solid. So here's another view of it. And, <clears throat> you know, the, all the things that we do is the these upper pickup points are cut off, and these are actually the new ones we make. And the bottom, those are cut off, and we make new ones for that too. So we change the, both the upper controller mount points and lower controller mount points to get the geometry we're looking for. I mean, I get the, I, I get, I stabilize the roll center. The roll center is just a little bit above ground uh, where most race cars are, IRS race cars. And we stabilize the the uh, the movement of the roll center so it doesn't roll around that much. And we do as much improvement to the camber gain as possible within the, the architecture that we're dealing with. And I also try to add as much anti-squat as possible. It's really hard to get a lot of anti-squat into an IRS car. But we do add uh, extra anti-squat, which not only helps going forward, but anti-squat also helps when the braking keeping the back of the car down. Now here's here's a uh, better picture of the bracket that we put on. Now it used to have just <clears throat> two holes for the SN95. However, we're getting so many guys with Fox Mustangs that are putting the IRS in. We've actually changed the bracket with some additional holes so that it will it. I'm not going to say it'll bolt to every Fox because Fox Mustangs are kind of, the earlier years are kind of a lot different than later years, but this this has been modified as a direct bolt up to the Fox Mustang. Use the existing uh, uh, threaded uh, bungs that are in the in the frame rail from the quad shop. So, and then you can see this is our, this is our, re, our, our new uh, upper mounting point. This is actually a bracket that's it's brand new. You know, we cut it, form it, and then weld it on. And here's another view of the of the uh, the bracket, and I mean, it's just rock solid. And again, our upper control arms, and then see what else. And here's here's a picture of the lower control arm bracket, which again, these are all new pieces that we put on. We we used to just like grind and and do things, and we thought, well, this is doesn't look all that nice, and it wasn't real precise, so we just you know engineered uh, new brackets to put on there. Now this, Brad kind of threw this in there, and uh, and I, it, it's kind of like, you know, why did he stick that in there? And I was going to take it out, but then it made me think, you know, this is actually an illustration that we used uh, for the Motor Week uh, video that we shot of Curry My Car down at uh, VIR for Motor Week TV. <clears throat> and we they wanted some illustration, we used this illustration just kind of show uh, the, the, uh, the IRS. Uh, the thing is that also, what was also cool about that event, that was the first time we ran the, the prototype uh, 4.6 FR500 motor uh, with the FR500 heads, cams, and the magnesium intake manifold. So it was kind of a, that was kind of a cool thing. So it just made me think, this is actually like 20 years ago. Uh, so that's how long we've been modifying uh, and building IRS Cobras is like 20 years. Uh, there's some other people in the aftermarket have some bits and pieces for them, but nobody really specializes in like we do. And the reason for that is in my early years, uh, I worked on you know, uh, Formula, Formula Fords and Formula Atlantic and Super B, uh, SCCA road race cars, uh, and they're all IRS independent rear suspension. And also back then in my sports car shop, I mean, the Triumph TR6 had an IRS, the Spitfires had an IRS, the, the 240Zs had an IRS. So an IRS was something I had more than a, a, a casual familiarity with. I'd already been working and, and, and changing those for years. So that's why when the IRS came out on, on, the, on the Cobras, I was just, I was happy as a clam because I knew what to do with them. And here's the whole system kind of laid out. Is the, there's the carrier, and then we've got the lower control arms, uh, and we, we mount the, uh, the shock in, in, uh, in double shear <clears throat> so it's really solid. And 
this is set up for, unfortunately, just set up for a coilover shock with, with spherical rod ends uh, because and that's what we do in racing, uh, and that's what we do here. So you can't you can't put a, a factory shock on there, especially one that's been. Uh, we see a lot of people get uh, take their factory shocks and they put you know like a, a spring on it, you know, make, turn it into a coilover when it wasn't designed for that. And I'm, I'm not a fan of that because the, the pin on the factory lower control arm was not engineered as a support point uh, for take the full load of spring and shock. It was just engineered as a shock. And it's also in single shear, uh, which I'm not a big fan of. But then you can see again, this is our, you know, phase one is the, you know, the, the bracket, the bushings, the rear roll steer kit. Now, also, I might point out, let me need to back up a little bit. Okay, it's, it's hard to see here, but we actually what we do, when we do the other geometry changes, we modify the inner pickup point for the, uh, the tie rod. So at that point, we take out all the rear roll steer. Uh, so, I mean, that with, we take, with, the, with the basic uh, roll steer kit, we take about half of it out, but when we do the geometry change, we take all of it out. Okay, so and then we've got the, the up to the upper control arm again, half the weight of factory, uh, and you know if you take take weight out of the suspension, I mean you actually you're taking weight out, which makes the suspension react quicker and work better. And I think the whole package uh, between the you know getting rid of the the factory pieces, the big huge springs in the back, and going to our coilover, it's something like 40, 45 pounds that we take out of the IRS, which means that if you look at the reality, it's not that much heavier than a live axle. Uh, if you take, you know, take 40 some pounds out of the IRS, it's, it's really close to the, the weight of the live axle. So that's kind of a big plus. And then we have, of course, our, our, our uh, sway bar end links. So, so that's kind of like the whole, the whole package of, the, uh, of our IRS and all the geometry changes we make. 